spectacular Sweet 16 party that we're going to witness right now. So may I grab all your attention and request everyone to be seated before we get this event started. Tonight, we gather to celebrate a milestone in Adam's life, marking the transition into a new chapter filled with boundless opportunities and unforgettable memories and endless adventures. But before we dive into the festivities, let me take a moment to extend a warm welcome to each one of you. Whether you're family or a friend or an esteemed guest, your presence here tonight means the world for Agam and her family. Your love, support and friendship have shaped her journey and tonight we come together to celebrate the beautiful person she has become. So let, without no further ado, dear friends, it's now time for a true heartwarming moment as we welcome the proud parents of our star of the night, Agam, along with their adorable baby sister, Maisha. Please join me in giving a resounding round of applause as I make their grand entry. Let's not forget the little charm of the day, Maisha. So put your hands together to welcome Agam's parents, Gul and Nushan, with Maisha.
बाकी है सुहानी है तो पूरा पिक्चर भी दिखा दे रहे और यू ऑल रेडी फॉर द फुल पिक्चर
తన మంచి పోలికి ఇది నాకు తట్టలేదు గాని అమ్మో ఈ లవ్ అనేది బబ్లుగమ్ము అంటుకున్నదంటే పోదునమ్ము ముందు నుంచి అందరన్న మాటే గాని మళ్ళీ అంటన్నానే అమ్మో ఇది చెప్పకుండా వచ్చేతమ్ము ప్రేమ నా పరివు నన్ను నమ్ము Thank you. 
बोला था ना पिक्चर बाद ही ये तो और भी अच्छा होते ही जा रहा है यार अभी तो 3D IMAX दिख रहा है I don't know what's going to happen next as the night gets in more and more deeper right so for this next performance maybe have Agam please walk down the stage. continue to reveal the joyous celebration. It's time for a heartwarming moment that will surely melt our hearts. Please direct your attention to the dance floor as we welcome a dynamic duo. You know who it is? It's none other than Agam and her beloved mother. Girl, tonight Agam and her mom are about to share a special dance that not only celebrates Agam's journey into the sweet 16, but also honors the beautiful bond they share. This dance is definitely a symbol of love, support, and cherished moments that they have shaped Agam into this incredible, incredible young woman she is today. So let's all put our hands together to welcome this electrifying couple, the duo, Agam and Gul, onto the stage, please. none other than my dear Agam, it's you. You are the star of the night. This night belongs to you and it's a celebration of your journey, your achievements and this beautiful person you have become as you step your foot into the sweet 16. And what's better way to mark this milestone than with a beautiful dance that captures the essence of your spirit and your boundless energy. Do you all want to see Agam dance here? I don't think she's ready with that. Mujhe aur energy chahiye. Ya nahi to agam karne ke liye she's mana kar rahi hai. Chalo all of us let's put all your hands together. Welcome the most beautiful girl agam on to the stage. Ek tera rang saala baba banal ki meri aankhon ka ram naam la
as the ocean, always ready to offer a listening ear, a comforting arm, a word of encouragement to those in need. Your empathy knows no bounds, and I'm grateful every day to have you by my side. A beacon of love and light in a world that can sometimes feel dark and cruel. On this special day, as you mark the beginning of your 16th year around the sun, I want to know how much you are loved and appreciated. You are a truly a remarkable person, and I feel blessed beyond words to have you in my life. May this birthday be the start of a new chapter filled with love, laughter, and endless possibilities. Happy 16th birthday, our dear friend. Hope we get to travel to France together to commemorate the, our first meeting in a simple French class. To start off this ceremony, I would like to talk about my grandma. I want to thank her for always being there for me since childhood to support me with her love and care, especially her delicious food. She, a uh, few things that make her a special person, a person that she is, is her bold, blunt, and joking personality. She never fails to put a smile on everyone's faces and likes to go on walks, likes to ride around her red scooty. I have so many cherishing memories of her that I'm reminded of her absence nearly every day. She is someone I truly look up to, even though I don't call her as much as she does for me, which, is, which I'm always grateful for. I love you, Lani, and I hope to send, spend tons of time playing business with you once I go to India. The second piano, I would like to talk about my grandma, I mean grandpa, for his silly habits of teasing me whether it be with a remote or his cheating tricks while playing cards. Although he is caught by Nani almost every time, he goes out to bring us delicious snacks and he has played the role of a male model in my life. As a child, I would look up to him cranking my neck since he's the tallest one in our family and missed the thrill that I would feel when riding around on his black motorcycle. I love you, Nana, and I can't wait to measure our height differences again when we meet. Now, this candle is for an exceptional woman, my mother, because I wouldn't be here at this moment if it weren't for her determination and courage. She brought me to this world, kept me in her prayers, fought for me, dressed me up, and most importantly, loved me unconditionally. I am a privileged daughter with a wonderful mother who is the strongest person I know, and even though I have grown, I will always be a little girl, and come to you for guidance first. I remember the long road trips we would take in India, and the pets you got me, like the fish, the beach cat, and at even one point, there was a rabbit named Yui. I'm lucky to have you as my mom. I'm sure no one else would have put up with me this long. I love having a mother like you, and just like you're always there for me, I'll be your back home. Moving on. I would like to light this candle for my stepfather, whom I have known for about six years now. You have allowed me to change and mature in so many ways, watching me grow to this very day. Although I don't know what to expect when you first married my mom, since you are the first father figure I have had, you definitely managed to surprise me. You showed me so many sides of yourself, though I initially felt hesitant to open up to you. Thanks for your efforts and for making this day happen. I hope you do you and I'll do me. Now then, as a single child, I've always wanted a sibling. That wish came true when I met Nirvan, my brother. When I first saw him, my thoughts were that he's such a small, cute boy that I swear to keep safe by my side. I felt like a protective sister ready to take responsibility. There were times when I helped him face his fears, times when I comforted him, times when we played together or danced like crazy. Even though he can be frustrating sometimes, 
I always forgive him since he brings a smile to my face with his silliness. I am thankful to be your sister and will always love you as my brother. Moving on, I would like to dedicate this candle to my baby sister who is currently one year old. She's our family's little miracle. <laughs> And although she continues to make me feel old, I can't wait to see her grow. Before her, I never realized how quickly babies can grow. At first, she was just about the size of my forearm, and then in a short span of time, she became as tall as to come to my knees. She can surely be loud at times, but her winning smile is just as adorable. I'm very fortunate to have Maisha as my sister and can't wait to see her grow and wear my dresses. For this candle, I want to talk about someone special who is always willing to listen and engage with my words, my mama. He's currently in Canada living with mommy and their dog named Ludden. Back at my grandma's house, I recall him visiting us on his break from college. And while we were talking, I heard him mention how his writing had become a mess in college because of how fast he needed to write. After hearing that, I wrote some sentences in the best handwriting I could and went up to them to see their reaction. Mamo mentioned how my handwriting seemed better than his, and that comment made my day. Although he couldn't attend today, I hope to visit you more and love you very much. Now, I want to tell you about my lovely mommy. She makes delicious seafood dishes and definitely has a taste in fashion. At first, I was shy to talk about her, but we clicked quickly since we have so many similarities. We like pets, love eating chocolate, act goofy together, and moreover, she felt like a forever friend. Now, as we're both getting older, it seems even important to even more important to thank you and tell you how much you mean to me. I love you dearly and can always count on you in good and bad times. Moving forward, I would like to take a moment to show gratitude to my Nani Masi, how she has always spoiled me a lot. In India, she has a shop where she would let me take as many chances as I want with the lottery and give me popsicles and several candies at any time I asked. She even took me to the Sai Baba Temple, which was one of the most memorable trips that I enjoyed. I love you lots and I'm fortunate to have you in my life. Now to my dear cousins. You all, you all made my childhood very fun. And even though we lost touch for a couple of years, I'm super glad that we were able to reconnect and talk more often now. Mahek, I love the way you do your makeup. And Devlin, I love your goofiness, which always brings me laughter. We will definitely keep in touch from now on, as you guys make me feel joyful, and being with you all gives me a familiar comfort. I'm blessed to have you guys be a part of my life. Friendship is the most valuable and precious bond in our lives. And as human beings, we are meant to make friends easily because we, we are meant for living together as a group. I would
my friends, whether it be from the past, future, or even the ones I have just reconnected with. I'm so happy to have you, since you have helped me get through the good and the bad times. You have been there for me, so for my, for every time I needed a, some comfort, and, and you have shared your thoughts, ideas, and feelings with me. You have kept me safe and made me feel secure, and, do not, and I do not think twice every time I consider you. You all, uh, you are my, my friends are some uh, are people who will stand by me and the ones I will stand by. I will always care for you and will never forget you. Thank you guys for being there for me when I needed you. principal of one of the schools that I attended before. He always saved time for me and even joined me on my celebrations like my birthday and supported me whenever it, I was feeling when I was feeling nervous or having difficulty in academics. I'm grateful for you uh, to be there for me. I hope to see you again soon. Now I want to mention Pallavi Ma'am, who was one of my tuition teachers back in India. She taught me a lot and made me believe in myself. Because of her, I am able to self-study and improve by on my own. Thank you for all your motivation and for making me such a capable woman. Thank you, Pallavi Ma'am. Now to Sunita and Harry Uncle, although they couldn't be here right now, they were our neighbors and our precious family friends back in India. You guys were so fun and always so engaging. I remember coming home from school when my mom, and when my mom was busy, he would let me stay over at your house. We used to have fun, have some snacks, drink juice, and talk about so many gossips. Thank you for being there, and I hope to meet you all again. Following, I would like to talk about Anmol and her family. We when we were having a tough time adjusting to a new life, they brought us food, they brought us comfort, and supported us through the rough times. They have always kept in touch and always considered us as our family. And we consider you our family too. Thank you and we love you lot. For this last one, I would like everyone who's attended here, thank you for being here and to, for being part of this special celebration. Thank you everyone. For good, as she graces us with this touching tribute to Agam, get ready to be moved, everyone, as we witness a mother's love and motion. Girl, the stage is all yours. Are ya, maine to bataya ki abhi pura ka pura raat baaki hai. So let's welcome Girl onto the stage.
to welcome Adam's gorgeous mom, girl onto the stage, along with her masses onto the stage, who are going to dedicate this beautiful, extraordinary performance. And I'm sure you will come back to say once more for this beautiful, gorgeous ladies onto the stage. Please put your hands together to welcome our gorgeous divas onto the stage, please. Satak satak bum, tera go te kai, kamar pe teri patak fai, body teri makan jasi khane ma bas tu patar khai, come on baby take it take it, katu teri take it take it, khel ta nahi wicket wicket, par le lo teri wicket wicket.
world. Tonight, we have the honor of bestowing upon Aga a tiara that's fit for a queen as she is. Isn't she, everyone? So I kindly ask all your attention as we prepare to embrace the tiara ceremony. Agam, surrounded by the love and admiration of your friends and family, it's time for you to wear the symbol of your beauty, your strength, and your remarkable journey. With the utmost reverence and pride, let us crown Agam, our beautiful, gorgeous, sweetheart of the evening, the star of the show, with the tiara signifying her reign over the special evening and the beginning of a new chapter filled with endless possibilities. Let's give them a big round of applause, please. Ladies and gentlemen, as we gather and we celebrate this moment of the tiara ceremony that was just being crowned for a beautiful Agam here, this next segment is a small tribute, a toast that's being done by Go before the cake. I request you all to please welcome a Gul who would like to offer a special toast of, in honor of her daughter's journey into this new chapter of life. I kindly ask your attention as we welcome Gul to share this beautiful toast with all of us. Please join us in raising your glasses as we prepare to pre a toast for Agam's sweet 60 and bright future that lies ahead. We request all of you to please maintain a couple of minutes of silence. I request everyone's attention onto the stage while Gul is giving this toast. Thank you, everyone. Hi, everyone. Good evening. First of all, uh, for, I want to thank you all for being here and showering your blessings on Agam. We are grateful to have you all today over here. And Agam, my dear baby girl, <laughs> Okay, my dear teenage girl, thank you for choosing me to be your mom. You made my life meaningful by coming into my life 16 years ago. It's, it's because of you that I learned what a mother-daughter relationship should be. And I entered motherhood which I always cherished. We have had our own ups and downs, but, everyone, but every time I got more strength by just looking at you. After every fall, I stood up only because you were by my side. Thank you for everything, my darling. You are my favorite child and you know that. I think so. <laughs> I would like to tell everyone <laughs> that Agam is a sweet girl. She always puts others first, uh, ahead of her own needs and desires. Be it her friends, teachers, siblings, she respects and cares for everyone. In the end, I would like to give a few key learnings to Agam. So first one is be vocal. So I came from a background where we had the upbringing, uh, where we used to teach, like we used to get the teachings that girls should never speak up for themselves. And, but I want you to be able to voice your opinion, speak your mind every time. And learn to say no, okay? Second one is make your mistakes, but do not repeat the same mistake again. Learn from your old mistakes and it's okay to make mis new mistakes because that's how you grow in life. And the third and then last one, wherever your future takes you, remember your mom will always be there for you. No matter what, you will always have my back. In the end, always remember to have fun in life and keep that smile on. Thank you, I love you. Let's all wish her girl for all the happiness, the best of health, and all that she's ever dreamed of.
Thank you. 